Hi, it's Scotty and Tony, and this is the Twitter Moments Digest, the TMD podcast. It's the uh, it's what's trending online for Monday, June nineteenth. Nice, oh, nailing geez. it with a hammer, buddy. Without any notes, uh, trending on Twitter, the Teacher of the Year. You get to go if you win Teacher of the Year in the United States. You get to go and meet President Trump. Get your picture taken in the Oval Office. What a nice prize! And. Uh, he the photo is the teacher of the year with uh, a fan like a, a like a what do you call it like a hand like a fan it's almost like a, like a, a Victorian yes. era saloon fan like a matching uh, parasol seems to be just out out of frame true uh, sort of deal so that's getting a lot of shares I don't know who else is in the photo there's that's a, Trump and uh, Mrs Trump Mrs Trump uh, that's Mrs Trump I open it up and I'm like oh the teacher of the year is hot. But no, <laughs> that's Mrs. No, Trump. That's Mrs. Trump. The, the gentleman is and the teacher of the, the year. The gentleman is yeah. the teacher of the year. Sorry. All right. So the LeBron James uh, gif, he's, uh, I want to say it's his kid's uh, birthday party or something. Okay. And they are out. He uh, obviously has a basketball court in his backyard on his property. It makes so sense. The kids are out and he's, <laughs> the gif is of LeBron James uh, slam dunking. His kid's 10th birthday party, and he's like... Who did he dunk on? His kid or his, one of the guests? A uh, bunch of the kids are trying to defend against him, but... Oh, I mean, boy. Impossible. You, We have a theory. I feel like he can't... If he gets in in a dunk situation, he can't stop. He can't restrain himself from dunking. He can't be like, oh, wait, I'm with the little kids here. He's just... Now it's built in. Can't he's turn a, it off. It's a dunking machine. Can't turn off the... There's no off switch for genius or... Or dunk. Okay. Trudeau, uh, our uh, Prime Minister of Canada, is Justin Trudeau. Uh, just a ridiculously handsome uh, leader of a nation. He's there with his cute kids. Yeah. Here's a father. Happy Father's Happy Day. Happy Father's Day. Here I am. I'm I'm also a father. Yeah, Happy right? Happy Father's Day. So yeah. relatable and all that. And it looks like he stepped out of a catalog. But then it the Twitter went crazy with the sofa he's on or we would call it maybe here in canada or maybe like our, our grammys and and nannies it would have called it a chesterfield the chesterfield or a couch the the couch the sofa the chesterfield uh why did it go crazy viral well, it's because uh and people are all like what is the matter with trudeau's couch <laughs> it's some kind of yellow i go like light mustard yellow yeah and then it's got flowers on it i it made me happy i laughed at first yeah. but then i'm like hey my grammy k would have loved that so yeah right so bright and colorful and hers her furniture was a different floral print <laughs> um but just as gregarious and, and wonderful and that's it made me and then i'm like thanks pm Thanks for making me happy because he made me think of my Grammy K. Dear Mr. Prime Minister, um, the so the there's no plastic on it. There's that's right away. I, I'm no. like, okay, there's that's a guy. He's they're letting the kids climb on this yellow sofa that sure. probably costs a lot of money and no plastic. At on this it. point, and people are like, you know, like you spent taxpayer dollars on that. Okay, first of all, simmer. <laughs> maybe it came from their house you never yeah, know maybe that's, that's a piece of furniture that uh, who knows but the last i in the or in the interest of fairness and i don't fall on one side or the other on this but the interest of fairness yeah the last prime minister his wife took in stray cats yes and they basically had to tear apart Oh, dear. The old prime right, ministers right, right, right. the current prime minister doesn't even live in the official prime minister's house because it was ruined so badly oh, by wow. cats. Well, you, that's like all wow. the, they had to throw all of the furnishings and all of the carpets and everything. They had to they had to burn it all. A lot of people don't know that, but that's wow. The story behind the story here. The, were they fat cats? They were <laughs> well, those fat cats they were in, in Ottawa. Ottawa. <laughs> well, those political fat cats, yeah. <laughs> Uh, on the tweet machine, uh, Mondays usually on uh, Twitter moments, it, they do a rundown of uh, church signs. Oh, so tell the one they lead with. The, Maybe it's different on yours. For me, it's who's your daddy, God or Satan? <laughs> That's mine too. Crack the Bible, get high on Jesus. Some of these are pretty great. 
<laughs> it's Actual something. church sign I just drove by. Don't ride with the devil. Uber with Jesus. <laughs> You're looking for the tech crowd there. You're looking for... Yeah, that's that's right. That's young and up a little right. bit. Some people are going to drive by that, and they won't even know what language that is. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Um, it, all over the weekend there, all over the Twitter was Beyonce. Um, Beyonce's dad says they've had twins and, uh, and then it goes crazy on the tweet machine. And then, um, the, uh, <laughs> a lot of, <laughs> they didn't do it on purpose. I, wait, yes, they did. Beyonce and twins in the same headline. And then the photo almost every time was like uh, incredible cleavage uh, photo of Beyonce. How are Beyonce and the twins doing? Yeah, exactly, right? So, And then uh, the Monday after Father's Day, uh, a lot of dad jokes were trending online. So uh, my daughter, my youngest, was having a blast. We, we were in, we went separate ways. We, we Both Tony and I have families where some kids do sports or other activities and sometimes you got to go your separate ways. And so I was out of town with my oldest kid. My youngest kid was texting me dad jokes all father's day. <laughs> Pretty funny. I found them funny. And then she's like, no dad, it was a dad joke. It wasn't funny. Like, you know, you're hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. You know, like dad, if you don't know, dad joke is code for that was stupid. That was a lame, lame yeah. joke. Anyway, if you want to, we'll uh, we'll share this in our show notes. If this you want to so run down funny the list, that your kid was doing that. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> she got me good. And then they presented me with a fidget spinner. So pretty great. Tony got a Toronto Blue Jays T-shirt for Father's Day. Your kids know you. Kids don't know this, but I picked it out. You picked out your own, and then uh, the mom kind of persuaded them. Hey, we were he, shopping. Okay, I see. And then I went to another part of the store and. Wow. Because she's like, no, you need to pick. I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't need anything. It's fine. She said, no, you need to pick something out and then walk to another part of the store. I'm, that is, I'm wow. telling you. And did you have I'm to not f- asking, fake, I'm telling. Did you have to fake? Oh, I can't stop doing my fidget spinner. I didn't know I was getting this. It was a surprise. Did you have to fake? I did go. Uh, maybe I was a little over the top on my, after I had the bag thrown at me. <laughs> I was <laughs> in true. bed yesterday morning. Father's Day, they throw the bag. Throw the bag at me. After that, I was a little over the top on, oh, what a wonderful surprise. (laughs) Academy Award nominated uh, Tony (laughs) Smith. So if you want to read these stories and uh, subscribe and all that to our podcast, scottyandtony.com.